Hi guys, welcome back. This week we are going to be doing the happy trailer kit. How freaking cute is it? All right, so we all have our kits out. Let's open them up. All the supplies are included. We're just taking them all out. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the base of the trailer. Right here, we're using painter's tape. You can freehand this or you can do what we did. We're gonna start by taking our number three, which is Queen Bee, and painting on the top half of the trailer. After getting a full coat of Queen Bee on, wash out your paintbrush so we can use it next. We're gonna take out our number four, which is dark and decrepit, and lightly stain the wood base. You do this by applying a light coat. This part is optional depending on how you would like the staining to look. The more you rub the dark and decrepit back, the more the wood grain will show. By the time you're done with the dark and decrepit, the queen bee paint should have dried. You can peel your tape off or if you did it freehand, that is really some true talent. Next, we're going to tape off a section in the middle to do a pin line for the trailer. We're going to be getting out our number two, which is Hay Sailor. Apply a generous coat around the whole trailer. Alright, after that has dried, peel the tape off and I know you guys are catching along what I'm going to say next. We're going to put the tape on and paint the bottom half with number one, which is Old 57. Peel the tape and we are done painting the trailer base. Now take out your cute little square sandpaper and sand that trailer. We want to give it a rustic look. Okay, grab your popsicle stick and we're going to stain it again with the dark and decrepit. After it's dry, you're going to want to cut a little door. This is so cute. It's going to be the trailer door and then you're going to want to cut off another end for the little window. Take your old 57, which is in number one, and paint the tops of the popsicle stick. Now after the paint is dry, grab your little piece of sandpaper and sand around the edges as well as the center, depending on the look you want. Okay y'all, this is the fun part. Grab your number six, it's the glue. You're gonna get a little bit on the back of your popsicle sticks and we're gonna start piecing together this trailer. After you got your door on, glue on that window. Make sure you get a good coat for the base of the trailer. We're gonna be gluing it on. After you got the trailer down, we're gonna glue on the little wheel. All right, y'all, we couldn't fit a hammer in this kit, so find a piece of wood, find a hammer, find a shoe, get something, and pounce down those nails next to the side of the trailer. After you got the nails in and lined up, you'll take your twine and tie it twice and wrap it around both of them. Don't worry about the extra hanging off. We will cut that off later. See, I told you we're gonna cut it off. All right, snip the edges with some scissors and then get out your canvas fabric. We're gonna be painting it with the Hay Sailor. Next, get out some scissors and cut about a half an inch from the ends of all the fabric. We're gonna take out our queen bee again and we're gonna doll up this little flag. We're gonna put some polka dots on there. You can do some swirls, you can get creative and make it how you want. Next, get out your glue and put a line of it on the ends of all the fabric. You're gonna be attaching them to the rope. You'll just gently press down and hold it for a couple seconds. Are you guys like freaking out right now? Like, look how cute this is looking. Like, I need this right now. I need to be making this as I'm telling you guys how to make this. 
Lastly, we're going to take out our number five, which is layered chocolate. And we're just going to give some finishing touches to this cutest trailer kit ever. Uh, Debbie painted a door handle on and then she went around the trim for the window and the door. Just touching it up, giving it some texture, giving it some looks, giving it some jazz. This is the best kit ever. You guys have to get one. I feel like I just made this kit like right next to you guys and I had so much fun being on here. We love you guys. We love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for being a part of our lives and for tuning into this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe for our weekly videos and we will see you in the next one. Love you.